what happens if Jimmy G, who I keep saying almost always wins for a team, where you swap them out, same coach. If Shanahan's such a genius and an average quarterback can do so well, why can't they win a game without Jimmy G? Because the backups lose everything. If he gets to his second Super Bowl in three years, key, a guy in the Athletic had it a couple weeks ago or maybe a month ago. He's not claiming Jimmy G's a top five quarterback, but Kyle Shanahan's off, uh, offense with Jimmy G at quarterback has operated for years now as a top five offense with Jimmy G. What happens if he makes his second Super Bowl? Well, I, I, here, here, let's go back to what you said to start with. You said the backups can't win in, with Kyle Shanahan, but Jimmy G can. I would say that when the backups take over or have taken over, it wasn't Jimmy G that was just missing. They were being depleted as a team. Mm-hmm. And, you know, there was other players that were missing along the way. So that, I just want to be the, fair. In other there. words, the timing mm-hmm. makes yeah, Jimmy timing G look makes, a little better than – A little bit better than what he truly is. Okay. You gave up a t- 2022 first rounder, which is now at the bottom of the draft in the first round. So that isn't as big as – Whatever. You know, it's like whatever now. And you're in the NFC Championship game. If he goes on and you said win the Super Bowl? Let's – yeah. Let's say they win the Super Bowl. It's going to be hard – it's going to be hard to move on from him. You could, he, I, I believe he has one more year left on his contract. You bring him back because Trey Lance isn't ready to take over. Just what if he yet. makes it, but they don't win the Super Bowl? But what does he play like? Let's say he plays, as you would say, good, solid, sound football. But that thing that you talk about, you got to make two or three throws. He, one of them, like the first time, doesn't doesn't hit it, and they lose. Like the one Emmanuel Sanders. Emmanuel Sanders, yeah. Probably going to move on from him at that point. Because that solid and sound, you already seen that the first time around. Now that I've seen it the second time around, now that I know that I can't win a Super Bowl with him because he, for whatever reason, can't make the throw that I need him to make. Just like in the NFC Championship game. Or not the NFC, I'm sorry, in the divisional round against Green Bay. He didn't make a throw that he could make. That would ch- the throw that he thought he could make got intercepted at the goal line. So you 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 you, yep. you look at that, you go. Jared Goff with the Rams. Uh, yeah. Jared Goff yeah. threw a pretty spiral back then. Yeah, you know? sort of kind of. <laughs> but Jared he couldn't Goff. get it done when you needed him to. Yeah, sort of. So the, when you say make a throw, right? When I look at the Super Bowl and I look at quarterbacks, I'm so Interesting because I just had this conversation <laughs> on one of our affiliates yesterday about the quarterback play of quarterbacks. Jay, when you look at Tom Brady's Super Bowl last year, mm-hmm. look at his numbers. Tom Brady was pedestrian numbers. Yeah. But guess what he did do? He put the ball in the end zone and didn't give the ball to the other team. Mm-hmm. And that's how they won the Super Bowl along with the defense harassing Patrick Mahomes. If Jimmy Garoppolo can just do that, throw for 200 yards, a couple of touchdowns, and don't turn the ball over, he'll win the Super Bowl. Jay, as someone who has won a championship, right? Mm-hmm. So really what we're talking about, like take everything he said, that's likely, he, Jimmy G, but then there is the caveat, two or three times a game. We saw Matthew Stafford do this in the first playoff game, right? Two or three times a game, you got to make that throw. Does it really come down your entire valuation of a quarterback to that those moments, two or three, maybe one moment, is that going to completely alter the way you see Jimmy G? No. I. <laughs> Jimmy G is a serviceable quarterback that if he wins the Super Bowl, like I'm not bloating, blowing out of proportion like my thoughts on Jimmy G. Like Jimmy G is, will always just be Jimmy G to me. Again, that's not a knock on Jimmy G. You could win a championship with a guy like that. But like he said, if they win a championship, you bring him back for one more year. He makes $24 million next year. But I don't see Jimmy G being the, the future leader of the San Francisco 49ers if they do win a Super Bowl this year. Our Super Bowl that we won. Brad Johnson made all the right throws. There you go. Didn't get a ball to the other team. The guy we faced in Rich Gannon, guess what he did? He gave the ball to the other team. And he was a machine at that point. And he yeah. was a machine at that point. But he didn't do what Brad did. So they lost the Super Bowl because of Derrick Brooks in, in, in the crew, in John Lynch, you know, in, in Dexter Jackson. So when you look at it, you say to yourself, okay, how did Seattle lose the Super Bowl to the New England Patriots? Because Russell Wilson gave the ball to the other team. And, and that's how you, when you judge in these quarterbacks in these Super Bowl victories, 
you got to really dive into it and look and say to yourself, what is it that I need doing a Super Bowl? I need a guy that's just going to do enough. Fewer well, let me, mistakes let me you, wins. Let me, yes, fewer <clears throat> mistakes do win. But let me ask you guys this. Do you trust Jimmy G in a big moment in the Super Bowl when he has to make a play? Because that's what every championship game comes For down to. For some reason, I don't not I, I don't know if he can do it, but I haven't eliminated that possibility yeah, yeah, yet. For whatever with, reason, I'm kind of with Max. So you're on indifferent. That one. Well, I'm kind of so, with so Max. So nobody's on that like, one. yeah, you're indifferent. No, like Goff. Sure. Goff, I would have thought, nah, you need someone. You need something more. Jimmy G, for whatever reason. I feel like he can come through. I don't know why, because he didn't get with Emmanuel Sanders. But he just strikes me as the kind of guy who could win a Super Bowl, and I don't have a better explanation than that. Yeah, I, I'm kind of like with you, Max. I'm like, but he almost, really... he almost gave the game away versus Tampa. So I mean, there's there's a body of evidence. You mean that Green Bay? Green Bay. Sorry, a lot of games. A lot there, of base. Yes, <laughs> there's a body of evidence that kind of proves that. You can't really trust him. You know what it is? I think but it's he, because of Kyle Shanahan and the style in which they play that makes you have a little bit of trust because he'll get them to the point that allows Jimmy G to have that chance. I think I like guys who can make quick reads and get rid of the ball. And then, and and as Key says, maybe it's because I grew up a Giants fan. You sort of talk Parcellian, right? And I saw how the Giants did it. They played good defense. They ran the ball. They had quarterbacks who would limit mistakes when you needed them to and come through with a few big throws. You're right, Jay. Jimmy G has made mistakes in big moments, even when he hasn't always paid for them. I don't have a better explanation than he strikes me as the kind of quarterback who you can win a Super Bowl. But it's funny, no, he, it's like, he it's like he Mike is. McCarthy, though. Like, Mike McCarthy has done the same thing. He's made mistakes, but they've won games. But then people look down on You look down on Mike McCarthy, but you're saying for Jimmy G, who's made mistakes in games, now all of a sudden, like, oh, I, I think he can do it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.